Hey YouTube, just wanted to shoot a quick video uh, for Dustin Bellinger for his uh, one year anniversary of being on YouTube. He just wanted us to maybe shoot a display and do a uh, shout out. So I thought I would, uh, I needed to hit another display anyway. So I just thought I would use it for a response video uh, for Dustin's uh, giveaway. So I'll just show a quick display here. Uh, this one cover 73 to 77 i had to move a couple cards because i picked up a couple of the 60s so i had to shuffle a couple things around so a couple of these guys you saw on another display but most of them you haven't seen yet but uh first is a 1973 tops uh freddie P patek uh mint nine uh 73 tops don baylor and a uh, uh, mint nine 1973 Tops Eddie Matthews Manager card and an 8. Uh, 73 Tops Roberto Clemente and a 7. 73 Tops Hank Aaron and a 7. And 73 Tops Luis Aparicio and a 9. Uh, 1973 Tops Rennie Stinnett. Uh, 1973 Tops Steve Stone. Second year card. The SGC uh, 9. Uh, 1974 tops Al Kaline, uh, his Al Kaline's last card um, in a PSA nine. Uh, 74 tops Rich Gossage, near mint eight, second year card. Uh, 1974 tops Bucky Dent rookie, and an eight. And then we have a 1974 tops Rennie Stinnett in a nine. 1974 tops Dave Winfield in an eight. 1974 Tops Juan Marichal in a 9. 1974 Tops Frank White, rookie, in a 9. 1974 Tops King Griffey, rookie, in an 8. Uh, 1974 Tops Frank Tanana, uh, rookie, in a 9. Uh, 1974 Tops Mike Schmidt, in an 8. Uh, 1974 Tops, Ron Sano, uh, in a 9. And then uh, 1974 Tops, Ron Sano, Tops traded. He got traded to the White Sox uh, in an 8. Uh, then I have a 1974 Tops, uh, Jack Billingham and Al Downing. Of course, uh, I think Jack Billingham gave up. Hank Aaron's 714th home run, and Al Downing gave up his 715th home run to break uh, Babe Ruth's record back in 74. Uh, then I got a 1974 top Steve Stone, traded to the Cubbies, mint nine. Uh, Luis Aparicio's last card, uh, 74 tops, and an eight. 74 tops Dave Parker. In a mint nine. 75 tops Ron Sano in a mint nine. Everybody likes this card. The 75 tops Herb Washington. Pinch runner card. In an eight. Uh, 1975 tops Robin Yount rookie in a six. And a George Brett rookie in a six. Uh, 1975 tops Keith Hernandez rookie uh, in an eight. Uh, 1975 tops uh, Jim Rice in a seven. Uh, 1975 tops Frank Robinson. I believe that's Frank Robinson's last card in a seven. And then 1975 tops Mike Schmidt in a seven. Uh, 1975 tops Dave Winfield. In a seven. Uh, 1975 tops Rene Stinnett. And then 1975 tops uh, Frank White. That's his second year card. Uh, 1975 tops uh, Mini Bob Gibson. That's in a seven. That's Bob Gibson's last card, I believe. Uh, then there's the 1975 uh, SSPC Harmon Killebrew. Uh, got him in the Kansas City Royals 
uniform. That's why I wanted to snag that one. That wasn't a very expensive card. Uh, 1976 tops Billy Williams. His last card. Uh, 1976 tops Dick Allen. That's his last card as well. 1976 tops Hank Aaron, and that's his last card as well. And an eight. We got 1976 Dennis Eckersley uh, rookie card. An eight. Gary Carter's second year, yeah, second year card. And an eight. Well, must have skipped over his 75. And that's Gary Carter 75. It's in a mini as well. Then 1976 Fred Lynn. Second year card. Uh, 1976 tops Louis Randall rookie. And an eight. And there's his uh, traded card by himself for the Yankees. Uh, then I have 1976 Ron Guidry rookie in an eight. 1976 Keith Hernandez uh, second year card in a nine. Uh, George Brett 77 tops in an eight. Andre Dawson 77 tops rookie in an eight. Uh, Bruce Suter's uh, rookie 77 in an eight. Uh, Dennis Eckersley's second year card in an 8.5. And then we have Jack Clark, rookie, in a 9. And then Dale Murphy's rookie in an 8. So that's just one of those quick displays real quick. Also, he wanted us to give us a shout out uh, to some fellow YouTubers. So I... Put up a shout out here. Uh, let's put it at the bottom here. I was gonna do a shout out to three guys that uh, GW573. He's kind of just getting started, but he's got good stuff. Uh, Wildcat72 cardboard, another guy that's got some really good stuff. And then uh, Bob Lewis. I think everybody's uh, getting around to his channel because he's been doing a really good job. And so that's my shout out and. Uh, Congratulations to Dustin for being on YouTube for one year. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.